So the brothers are sent home. Uh, Joseph has uh, disguised himself. They don't know who he is. He keeps Simeon in prison. He sends the other brothers back. So they go back to their father's house, uh, Jacob, and uh, they give him this report that we've been able to bring back food, but we can't go back again unless we take our little brother, Benjamin. And when Jacob heard this news, he was just, no. He just, no, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to send my youngest son off. I've already lost one of my sons. He's dead. And, of course, these brothers, <laughs> they've got this secret hid away in their heart. It's, uh, it's working on them. It's been working on them. And they realize that, that, that what they have done to their younger brother Joseph was a terrible thing, and they feel the guilt and the shame of it. And you've heard the old expression of things going from bad to worse. That's just kind of the way it is. So time kind of rocks along. We find all of this in the book of Genesis, in the story of this remarkable young man by the name of Joseph. And all of the family and all the family upheavals and all of the circumstances that's involved, uh, the, the, the deceit, the, the lies, the, the disappointments, it's all in the story of young Joseph, who is now second in command in all of Egypt. I mean, he's one of the most powerful men in the world. This incredible journey that has brought him to this place as a product of the plot of these brothers who sold him, sold him off to send him down to Egypt to become a servant in the house of Potiphar. And all of these things have led to what these brothers are now facing as they stand there in the presence of their father and continue to live out this lie. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a terrible thing to be living a lie. Something that uh, maybe happened in years back in someone's life, but you're continually covering it up, just hoping and praying that it'll just go away, but it never does. It's always there just under the surface, but it's there. And these brothers are dealing with this. And they know that when the food runs out, the food they've just brought back from Egypt, when it runs out, they're going to have to face this. And they're going to have to look their father in the eye and say, hey, there's no need to go back there because that man said, unless you bring your brother, you'll get nothing. What a tremendous set of circumstances, all brought on because of a lie. But the amazing thing about things like this, God just has a way sometimes of just turning things around and making things that seems to be terrible into something to his working. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.